evening everyone. We are in Chinatown and we've spent a little while walking around the shops. Now we find ourselves back at the vegan vegetarian restaurant we went to yesterday. But the upstairs part is called Eight Treasures Vegetarian Restaurant. Everyone. We are off to go and explore Little India today. We're just waiting for our Uber driver to come and pick us up. He's five, six minutes away. Oh, his car looks like it's red. I've never seen a colourful car on an Uber map before. That's so weird. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go and explore the area. I think there's something going on there. Something quite arty at the moment, Roshni was telling us. So we're going to go there first, then hopefully go to Clark Key to get a boat ride around all the keys, which will be really nice. And it should be about evening time by the time we get there. So it'd be quite nice to maybe see the sunset and see all the lights and see everything lit up. So that should be really fun. But I'm going to go and check the status of my Uber driver. Um, he looks like he's stuck. And yeah, I'll show you around Little India when we get there. Street art here is epic, that is so good. I used to have one of these eye rings on my phone and they're so handy. I think I'm gonna get one. They're just over a pound. I'm trying to decide which colour, but I think I might get the white one because my phone's got a marble case and the gold will look quite nice with it. But they've got so many different colours. There's some patterns and things going on. These are so useful for when you're Snapchatting and Instagram storying. <laughs> Priorities, eh? I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> So we're getting our first train. Um, we are, where are we? Here, Little India. And then we're gonna go to Chinatown, I think, first, and then go to Clark Quay. And it's really easy to follow, even though it looks similar to the London Underground. There's far fewer stops, and also, it tells you the fares here, so it makes it really easy for tourists. What did you just do, Jess? Nothing. <laughs> you drank some water. There's the culprit. You're not allowed to drink in stations here. No food or drink, or on public transport, because you can get fined. Always <laughs> take some risk. No. This is why this country. This is why this country is so clean. It's such a good idea. Chinatown and this really cool shop they've got some really cool handbags we've just spent far too long in this shop but they have some really cool bags and sunglasses and jewelry and just loads of things and we're buying quite a bit this is our first proper shopping trip of a whole month away isn't it Jess yeah. first time we're shopping Jess is buying a rucksack I'm buying a handbag and we've got four pairs of sunglasses three of which are mine <laughs> happy with your purchases Jess 
very happy. I've got a nice bag. Got you nice got two bags, two bracelets, oh, yeah, two bags. one pair of sunglasses. <laughs> I bought a bag because I broke mine yesterday um, and I bought three pairs of sunglasses. I'm so happy with them, they're so cool. Now we're just gonna have some Thai food in Chinatown and this one looks pretty good because they've got a whole vegetarian menu too, if I can find it. Okay. Vegetables. There we go, animals are my friends and I don't eat my friends. <laughs> this looks so good. The little man that owns it is so cute, isn't he? He's so cute. We're just waiting for our food. This is what Jas got. He got some chicken rice and some Thai fish cakes. I've come to the realisation that Thai food in Asia is like Italian food in Europe. You can always count on them to have vegetarian options. It's great. So every time I've been struggling looking around for food, I just go to any Thai restaurant and they always have something vegetarian on the menu. <laughs> there we go. I've got olive and vegetable fried rice and tofu with cashew nuts. This looks so good, except for my portions are massive compared to Jas's. We're about to go to the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. I've got shorts on though, so I've got a really bad feeling I won't be let in. And the perfect gift for Jess. We had a quick five minute turnaround. That Uber driver was playing Boyzone while it was on the radio, but it was the second time we've heard it today. It was so good. But anyway, now we're running late to go meet Roshni because there's loads of traffic. She's continuing this vegan tour of Singapore that she's giving us. I'm so excited. Tonight we're going to a vegan Italian restaurant, which sounds amazing. And it's only a five or 10 minute walk from our hotel, providing we don't get lost. So that should be really good. Here we go. It's called Brown Ice. And oh, they do vegan ice cream. I seem to have developed a taste for vegan desserts while I've been here, because I can't have it anywhere else, really. Ooh. Hi, Roshni. Hi. <laughs> okay, I don't drink fizzy drinks, and I don't advocate drinking fizzy drinks, but sometimes it's an exception. There's always an exception for a root beer float. Some desserts are the bomb. They are. A better than they definitely are. are. <laughs> hey, hi. Oh, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought you were trying to get a shot off or something. I it's not going to be. <laughs> It's raining on our last day in Singapore. Oh no, it's not our last day, it's our second last day. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We're checking out of the hotel today. I'm currently eating a mint. Last night we went to go and drop our luggage off to Roshni's house and then we picked up a little suitcase from her so that we're not ferrying our luggage around, like all of our stuff, um, all day today because she's at work. We're just checking out of the hotel. We're gonna have some breakfast to figure out what we're doing today. And yeah, it's really sad. Like I'm gonna miss this hotel, it was so nice. I say this every single time. For once, look, we're actually traveling light. Tiny little suitcase just there. I've also just seen that it's raining outside, so not sure what we're actually gonna do. We'll see how it goes. Still sees the day. 
Oh, uh, much mint stuck in my tooth. Okay, I need breakfast, so we need coffee. We are in Raffle City Shopping Centre. It took us about an hour and loads of cancelled Ubers to get here. But anyway, now we're walking around looking for a shop called the Cookie Museum. So Roshni's sister, my cousin that lives in London, stumbled upon this when she was last here and she knows how much I love biscuits because she does too. So she was like, you have to go there, it's amazing, but don't buy anything, it's really expensive. So we are telling our taxi driver why we're here and he was like, you might be just Disappointed. It's not actually a museum, it's just a shop, but it's called the Cookie Museum, so I'm really excited to go and see it. Here, you can see a massive museum. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Cookie Museum. There's a lot to see here. You might hold, get... hold my hand so you don't get lost, Jack. Let's not get lost in here. <laughs> Which end shall we start at? I think we should start here, <laughs> the least crowded section. That looks very busy around there. Jas is trying a chicken rice cookie. That yeah, sounds so cookie. strange. I've never tried anything like this before. Let me try it. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely a different taste. <laughs> does it taste like chicken? It well, does, you know, but it's not really my, um, yeah. Because it's got a mixture of How it? chicken with the cookies. So it's not really 100% sweet. Maybe That's about so a little sweeter one. What's your favorite? This is pandan chicken. Pandan? It's like a leaf, right? Like the pandan leaves that things are steamed in. Oh, you know? yeah. And they steam yeah. rice in it, yeah. Green, here we go. This one's more bearable. <laughs> coconut, yeah? You love coconut. Right? Yeah, anything coconut. That's my. Yeah, that's nice. How about something different? I have roses, black tree, or something. Black tea? Yes. 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 Black tea? Do you know what it is? It's basically sake, but it's got a Kit Kat inside. Not Kit Kat flavoured sake, that would be weird. lunch it's Korea's answer to sushi I think they're called seal rolls or kimbaps I'm not too sure I got two I got avocado and mushroom and truffle oil I think and just got a duck one but we're gonna share one of mine obviously these look so good they're massive I think you only have them with soy sauce you don't have them with wasabi and ginger like traditional sushi can't wait to dig in yum We've just found this tiny little techie shop. This is like Sephora for Jas. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but it's a bit hard to navigate your way around because we've got a little suitcase. Uh, we're walking to Suntech Mall, but I feel like we're going to be here for a while because Jas is obsessed. They sell everything to do with
thing I see here is Sephora. That's the only reason I'm here though, to be fair. I'm so excited. This is my third Sephora trip on our whole trip. And I'm hoping to pick up the final bits because everything I want seems to be out of stock in every single store that I've walked into. Here I am. This is so exciting. I really want to try this Kate Sandville Goat Milk Moisturiser, but it's so expensive. Thank you very much. Thank you, Super Bye. Done a bit more damage. Okay, so we got a little bit carried away and didn't realise it's actually five to nine right now. We said to Roshley that we'd be back at hers for eight o'clock and we don't really know where we are. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi on my phone, so just, just gone inside to try and call her. Sorry, I'm standing where they're playing live music, it's really annoying. Um, we were supposed to go to a Japanese vegan restaurant tonight, but he's just spoken to her and it closes in half an hour. So definitely not gonna make it there, which is such a shame because I really want a Japanese food. Oh, she's gonna think of somewhere else that we can go. I'm just gonna go and stand and listen to this live music because it is so good. <laughs> Here is so clever, they stop you from blocking people that are trying to get off the train and they make you stand here. It's such a good idea. Their trains are so much nicer than the London Underground. It is our last morning in Singapore. We're really sad about this, aren't we, Jess? Yep. We spent last night... Crying. <laughs> we were, we were so sad. I mean, I am a little bit sick of the heat, I'm not gonna lie. It's just too hot to like do anything or go out. But we checked out of our hotel yesterday and we spent our last night staying at Roshni's house. This morning she had a few things to do, so we've just gone out for a little wander. We found a little coffee shop and I made myself a iced mocha, which was so nice. I got a Hershey's chocolate soy milk and an iced black coffee. Basically, most coffee shops around here don't have the option for soy milk and I don't like black coffee. So I got an iced black coffee and there's a supermarket next door and I bought a Hershey's chocolate soy milk and poured it all into this and it tastes divine. It's really humid out here, but we're gonna finish our coffee, um, head back to Roshni's, get ready. And I think we're gonna go off to explore some really cool coffee shops and bookshops today, which would be really nice. And then we're leaving for the airport. Yep, it's gonna be sad. Don't wanna, work, don't wanna go back. This is, we've had a good holiday, you know. So we're gonna finish our coffees before it melts, because things tend to melt very quickly here. And then head back. Hello. Right now. <laughs> we're going to the Fortune Centre. In Bruges. And the Fortune Centre is right next to um, a Buddhist temple. And it's one of the uh, only few shopping places or malls in Singapore, which most of the restaurants are vegetarian and vegan. Nice. So you can try some local vegetarian and veganized versions of local food. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm really excited to try Nasi Lemak. I really wanted to try it in Malaysia. It's their traditional dish here, but traditionally it's made with chicken and anchovies. Hi! Hi! I'm telling them all about Nasi Lemak. Oh yes, we're about to eat traditional food, but a vegetarian vegan version. <laughs> totally taking over. That's alright. So yeah, I'm really excited to try it. I want to see what they substitute the chicken and the anchovies with. That'll be really interesting. So this is a vegetarian chicken, this one here. And this is supposed to be a vegetarian fish. How cool is that? I'm so excited for this. Oh, we're leaving. So sad to be leaving this one. It was so nice to spend loads of time with you. Bye. <laughs> 
This airport is so cool. You get unlimited alcohol in this lounge. There's a movie theater in here, which is free screenings all day and night. Butterfly Garden. Oh my god, we haven't got time to go downstairs and check it all out, but look at this butterfly garden. And the planes are right there, just outside this window. This is so cool. I mean, it is like a sauna in here, but that is pretty cool. Here we are. Butterfly. <laughs> 